A think tank at the University of Memphis is making several recommendations on improving public safety in downtown Memphis. Oh. WRG's Jessica Knox has reaction from business owners and Mayor Strickland. I agree with parts of it. I don't agree with the unclothed, the police officers not being in police uniforms. The Public Safety Institution at the University of Memphis came up with the 60-page plan to make downtown Memphis safer. This is after it found there were more than 4,100 criminal offenses downtown between May 2022 and May 2023. Every downtown business owner has an opinion about the plan. We got plenty avenues to correct things. Uh, I'm not for playing close police officers. I'm for police officers in a uniform. That's my personal opinion. I'm for a clean town and pretty flowers. Tawanda Perto has owned Filling Memphis for three years. She feels having officers in hot spots could reduce crime. I don't see enough police prep presence on my streets. The plan recommends increasing police in uniform and plain clothes, setting up a curfew and reducing aggressive panhandling. One thing everyone seems to agree on is the proposal to end alcohol sales after 2 a.m. is not the answer. They have it's 12 and 14 year olds committing crimes. What bars are they attending? I don't know. I don't know any 12 and 14 year olds at bars. So I'm telling you is you better start with the kids. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland says the plan is a step in the right direction. I agree with almost everything in there. In downtown Memphis, just Knox, WRG News Channel 3. And you know what? We found further proof today. The Bluff City clearly needs some help. The FBI has released a new report on the nation's crime stats, and we noticed some alarming trends right here in Memphis. Over the last decade, the number of crimes reported in the city has been on the rise, while the number of cases cleared by police has remained relatively flat. The data also shows more than 40% of the people who fell victim to a violent crime last year were targeted by a stranger and some 57 percent of violent crimes happened either at the victim's home or someone else's home.